It is difficult for bones and fossils to be preserved in tropical locations, but Cuba's dark, hidden caves present a different environment. Within the caves, shelter from the elements is provided, and therefore, these caves are capable of preserving both artifacts and fossils, providing us with a look into Cuba's past. It is within these caves that the bones of the Ornomegalonyx were first found. Ornomegalonyx is an extinct giant owl. Similar to the owls you know of today, Ornomegalonyx was likely a fierce predator. It probably preyed upon large rodents and even ground sloths. However, it stands out from modern day owls, primarily due to its size. This giant owl stood around 1.1 meters in height, the largest owl ever known. If one was standing next to me, it would come up to about here. Furthermore, Ornomegalonyx is thought to have been nearly flightless. It was more likely to be a strong runner capable of short bursts of flight. So why would an owl need to be so big? This is likely an example of what is known as the island rule. You see, animals on islands tend to evolve to have either much smaller or much larger body sizes over time. Smaller body sizes are a result of limited food sources and larger body sizes result from less pressure from predators. Without many competitors for its prey, the Ornomegalonyx was able to grow in size throughout the generations. But eventually, it is likely that this may have also led to its decline. If prey ran out, the Ornomegalonyx would need to again adapt to survive. In this case, that didn't happen. Once the top predator of Cuba, the Ornomegalonyx has been extinct for about 6,000 years, and scientists have yet to find a complete single specimen. Instead, researchers have used fossil evidence, including fragments of bones, beaks, and talons, to put together what this giant owl likely looked like. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And for more information on COSI, Columbus, Ohio's Center of Science and Industry, visit COSI.org.